Is it hot where y'all are? It's so hot in Alabama. I can't even, y'all. It's 98 degrees. And um, we decided several days ago that we would uh, go to Montgomery because they have a new whitewater. It's a park. It's, you know, it's, it's amazing, actually. So we wanted to try it out. Our guys did. But... <laughs> We ended up getting there at night. It's only three hours. Montgomery is only three hours from where we are. But uh, Ben needed to go to the doctor because he had an upper respiratory infection. And do you know, the fellow just went ahead and did it anyway. Uh, We camped at Gunner Hill Campground, which is an Army Corps of Engineers campground. And it was really good. We liked it. It was a good campground. Um, We only stayed Friday night and Saturday night. Came home Sunday. It rained on us a good bit on that trip down there and like I say we we usually like to get on the road much earlier than that um, to enjoy our full weekend but um, we we uh, came into this campground totally at night and in my opinion it was one of the best campgrounds we've ever gone to as far as space for each individual campsite full hookups with uh, of course electric and water but also the sewer which that is great that way you can use the bathroom in your camper and that's all, always wonderful but they do have bathhouses with showers and all that so um, Olivia and Ryan uh, got there before we did and they pulled the camper and we just came in our own truck with boats <laughs> and uh, it was so hot I'm telling y'all, hot, it's been so hot. All the days and all the things that we want to do this summer um, for the past several weeks, we've just been dealing with absolute intense heat. You know, a heat index over 100 with the humidity that we have in the South, that makes it even more intense. But when we woke up, we quite a lovely view. And I'm not sure what that little lake Um, is called or if it's just a really wide creek or I mean it's kind of a lake kind of hard to tell but um, we were on the water and there's Spanish moss that's kind of what I'm looking at as I as I point the camera up because Spanish moss to me is just such a romantic look I love it I think it's wonderful and this campsite had a little trail that went all the way to the water's edge but Um, It's hard to do things outside when it's really, really hot. And they said the water at the water park felt a little bit like bath water. (laughs) So if it's 98 degrees outside and the water that you're in that you're wanting to feel cooled off uh, by being in that water, (laughs) if it feels like bath water, look how nice it is. I mean, people kayak in it, which is what my guys do. But you can also raft. Well, Ryan, Olivia... Baby Isaac and I decided that, um, of course, I wasn't interested in doing the water park. So we decided we'd get out a little bit in Montgomery and (laughs) we would thrift a little bit. And Isaac was so very good. He always is. He's a good, good baby, which, you know, all babies have their moments and they cry. But we went to, I think, two or three thrift stores. But even just going in and out of thrift stores was pretty dadgum hot it was really hot first thing uh, Ryan noticed that they had some interesting antiques in there but they were fond of their antiques they were priced way more than I would have paid but it was interesting to look at it was an adding machine and some other little things Um, if it's already put up front in a showcase it's probably higher than I want to pay I mean, I have bought things from the from the display cases up front, but what I normally search for and what my goal is to find antique treasures in the wild. And by in the wild, I mean just on the regular shelves in the thrift store or at a yard sale or if somebody's thrown it away on the side of the road. Um, I have I have an antique trunk that that came from the side of the road. No joke. Somebody just threw it out. And there was an insulator in my pretty turquoise blue color that I liked, but I didn't want to pay $9.99. I thought that was a little pricey. So I'll let someone else enjoy finding that. 
They did have some brass things grouped up together and that was interesting. Vintage and antiques are my goal, but I also love to run across really good basic items uh, like this candle pillar holder that came from Hobby Lobby. $3.99 is a good price. That's pretty. I did end up taking the the wood pillar candle candle holder. See, came from Hobby Lobby. Now $17.99. You would obviously wait until they mark it 50% off whenever that department has its turn to be half price. And so that would make it $9. But you know, $3.99 is less than half of that, so that's good. I see those sometimes. Those little slabs like that and I almost picked one up in Sevierville but I didn't this time didn't that time and didn't this time but I probably will one of these times that was a pretty plate but I think it was pricier than I wanted to pay yeah five dollars I have lots of pretty plates already so that helps me be able to resist picking up every single pretty plate that I do come across Now, I'm not sure what this item is. I thought the decal on it was pretty, but since I didn't know what it was, and it's not actually my favorite or anything I'm seeking, I just took note of it. I appreciated it, and I walked on. One of these days, I'm going to find some jadeite. My heart leaped a little bit when I saw that mug because I thought it might be jadeite because I only have a very few little tiny bit pieces of jadeite and what I do have is actually Pioneer Woman. I might have one authentic piece of jadeite, but what, mostly what I have is the Pioneer Woman stuff that looks like jadeite and it's so pretty with um, my vintage Christmas things. I love to put it with that. I've never would have thought to pair that together, but I saw someone else do it on Pinterest and I loved it ever since. Those are really cute speckle bowls, but Again, I decided I would uh, not pick those up as cute as they were because, let me tell you my main reasoning, I have another set of these somewhere. And when I get to the point where I'm arranging and putting things in my she shed, my Cracker Barrel inspired she shed, I will, I will display what I already have instead of purchasing the two that had lids were $1.99 each. The one with no lid was $0.99. Cents, and I was just like, I can resist. I think, I think that a lot of the time that I'm resisting, I'm training myself to be so selective if I can. <laughs> because I don't have a booth presently. I'm not, I'm not reselling. And um, even though my daughters, all three of them, like vintage things, I don't think they are really super desiring for me to pick up a bunch of stuff for them. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be selective. But then you come across something like that. Look at that fabulous little thing. Nobody else would want bellows but me. I want bellows. <laughs> that is good. I found some bellows a while back. So I actually already have um, one set you call it a set of bellows it looks like a single item to me but, but anyway it sounds like you should say set of bellows i already have one so um you know i can either display them together or not oh there's always such weird stuff everywhere that was cute except it was broken it's the kind of thing that i might have been tempted to pick up had it not been broken but one of the legs was gone and i just thought well I don't actually need a, a repair project to do, but you know what? If I had loved it enough, I probably would have gotten it and repaired it because that's just what you do. When you're a crafty person, your brain just works that way. You just want to, you want to see the potential in all the things. I don't know what that was. That was just a dog bow. Oh, it was a slanted dog bow. Never had seen one shaped that way. And there's all the little knickknacks, knickknack paddywax. I was tempted by those little ducks. But I have a set of very vintage 
ducks that stack that are actually plastic from they look like they're from the 1950s or 60s not sure if they are but since i already have some i passed those by they looked like homemade ceramic and i don't know what kind of creature you would keep in that do y'all is it a hamster cage what is it i didn't need it i don't have little creatures i have big beagles where is my beagle oh she's running free she went outside okay well, in a minute, she's going to come to the door and bark like she will surely die if I don't let her in right that second. So, all right, their showcase had things that I was not drawn or tempted by, drawn to nor tempted by, but you just never know. <laughs> and there is something cathartic and therapeutic and relaxing to me about just looking and taking the chance to let something wonderful appear before my eyes. In the meantime, um, I can, while we're looking at things that did not just reach out and throttle me and make me, make me put them in the buggy, um, we are still on a mandatory heat recess because it's too hot to work on the shed. Y'all, we tried. And I guess Ben and I are just too old. And the young kids, they can't even be forced or threatened into it. Those were pretty, but they were sold. I was curious how much they were. Kind of neat looking. The cushions needed some love. Those were neat looking chairs. I liked those. And obviously, these, you know, where I'm, where I'm shopping is a place I have never been in before. Never seen it. I think that might have been for display only. Is that what that says? Probably. But I'm just curious about it. Because it's a real baby sized. Not a doll sized. But I loved, I appreciated those spindles on there. I thought that was neat. Now, here we go. I'm thinking I'll probably find something worth, worth having in here. Look at that great big enamel roaster in the left that I just, wow. Why did I not check on that? That looked like. Something that would have been awesome. And I was interested in this, but it was pricey. And I didn't even really know what it was. Still don't. I guess it's a casserole dish. I'm not really sure. But I, maybe it was a brand that they looked it up and it was worth as much as they had it priced. Sorry for the crazy camera work. Roseville, Ohio. $19.99. Well, you know, that that's more than I was willing to pay. I mean, unless it's worth a hundred and then it would have been worth it, I'm sure. But I didn't look it up and I didn't have a great desire for it. So I just moved on. Move along, girl. Secret sauce. Hmm. I've never desired to have a little pot that said secret sauce. But there it is in case anybody wants it. It's in Montgomery, My Montgomery Goodwill where it's hot as blazes in the smack middle of the state with not even any redeeming mountains nor coastline anywhere near. And their water park is very nice, but it was so hot that the water was uh, like the temperature of bath water. So I already have a fondue pot and I put in my fondue pot, just the one I have that's gold, kind of like that. I just put a little autumn arrangement in it and I hang it up in the fall. I'm ready for fall. Look at there, $1.99, vintage aluminum. -num. Oh, does it say $1.99 or $3.99? Well, it says $3.99 down there, but I swanny I saw $1.99 on the sticker on the side. I feel like I pointed this out at checkout and they let me have it for $1.99, but I'm not quite sure. It was a hot day. Maybe I was distracted. Well, anyway, there it goes in my buggy, and you can see it's joining my, my bellows and the Hobby Lobby good pillar candle holder. Now it's a little bit interesting. I do have two or three really good ones that still have the legs and the handles that are vintage. So I did not take that one. There are always so many 
plasticware and pan things in a thrift store. I mean, always. <gasps> Did I put that thing in my buggy? Look at me. It's been a few days. Why did I put it in my pocket? I don't know. Maybe I put it back on the shelf because I don't think I brought it home. Maybe I did. Maybe I thought it would be cute stacked with my stack of other colanders. I don't know. Look at that. Somebody's actual family snapshots from like the early 80s. Hmm. It seems sad to me that it was in some grandmother's house and then her house was cleared out and all these people that belong to that woman or that set of grandparents. They're just forevermore cast away. But it's okay. All, you know, all the things in this whole world are just um, just dust, aren't they? They'll, they'll fade away. These are not the things that are most important in life, and these are not the things that we should set all our hopes in. It's fine to have fun with them and let them be hobbies, but let's don't get it don't get it flipped. Let's don't get it twisted. These are not the things that are most important in this world. Not, not anywhere near. What our focus, main focus and highest priority needs to be is the peace that we have through our relationship with Christ. And if you have another way of thinking and another faith, you know, that's that's anybody's personal choice that's what that's what god gave us all was a, a personal opportunity to choose how we're going to believe and how we're going to operate but i think now look at that that's pretty i ended up taking that home it's cast iron i think pretty heavy i think the, the, a personal relationship with jesus is the best way because in my belief, it is the only way. I just really appreciated that cast iron trivet. I liked it. I did take that home. But anyway, but, um, I think about when I go in a thrift store sometimes and I just see the sheer amount of things and I'm like, you know, we came into this world without a single possession and we're going to go out of this world without a single possession. You know, it's not the most important thing. And I do, I do think it's good to stay grounded and to keep a balance in your mind. I mean, there's all sorts of hobbies and you could spend your time and money and resources on all sorts of things that are just for your fun. And that's absolutely fine. It's okay to have hobbies and interests and things, gifts and talents and skills and things that you're good at. But everything with everything we should, we got to have a balance so isn't that cute the way that little stuff is painted on there $4.99 I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. it it was very sweet but I in the moment I didn't feel like I really wanted it to be in my Cracker Barrel shed you know I've named my shed Pinewood Keep because we are um, in North Alabama where pine pine trees big pine. I have big pine trees long leaf long needle pines and I have a lot of them in my yard and I grew up with a lot of them so um, that is why I've named my shed Pinewood Keep and there's our little brother look at him I say brother he's an only child and he would be an older brother but look at those cute little trunks Livy found it's, it's fun to shop with others and then see what they have found and <laughs> She loves little overalls, and she dresses them in overalls very often. It's so sweet. <laughs> and yet another pair. Those are cute. <laughs> you know, dressing a baby doll uh, turns into dressing your baby when you finally have a baby of your own. And it's ever so much fun to dress a baby. And it's a little more challenging to dress a little boy as cutely, is that a word? As you dress little girls, they only have about half of the amount of cute things for baby boys as they do for baby girls. Lots of office supplies. Didn't need, didn't want. Just walked right on. 
but it was interesting. Lots of wire contraptions, things that would help you inside your shelves or on bathroom like shower faucets hanging down from them. And then it kind of turned into some more decorative pieces and I always consider the wood pieces. I think that thing with the, the little narrow slats, it looks like a dish drainer. I do have um, one of those right now. It's on the counter in the little kitchenette in my lower level, my walkout basement. That's where Livy and Ryan are staying right now. And they have a kitchenette of their own down there. Hmm. That was some sort of ceramic fruit. It was heavier than I thought it was going to be. Lots of lamps. There's always lamps. I don't know that I could ever pay full price in a retail store for a lamp. Just because I know that there's always lamps in the thrift store. And always lots of lampshades. Oh, I was showing my finds to Ryan. I was like, what are those? <laughs> I'm like, you know, to make a fire hotter. Because you have to blow oxygen into it. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> I mean, he, he probably had heard of the concept, but maybe never seen any in person. Or maybe he hadn't noticed the one that's already in my house somewhere. They had a big selection of chairs, and I'm trying to work my way around to see some very ornate-looking chairs that I thought were very pretty and very similar to... The dining room chairs that I have, I have eight dining room chairs that are shaped a lot like those. But look at the price. Um, excuse me, Goodwill, one thirty nine ninety nine, and each of them had that tag on it. I mean, I could comprehend, and I thought, hmm, for real. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty. But maybe that was for the whole set of them. There was maybe four of them there. That still seemed high, even for four of them. See, that other set is a whole different design, a whole different shape. Oh, well, there was not an employee to ask. And I wouldn't have brought them home anyway. But, you know, sometimes I just ask questions like that just because I have a nosy brain and I just, I just need to know. I just need to know what in the world they're thinking. Why would they price it that way? Why? Why would you? Why? Now, I don't know what that is. Ryan checking out the gadgets there. Never seen it before. Had no idea. He was asking me, and I said, I have no idea. Tell me in the comments what the gadget that says it. <laughs> Tell us what it is. We don't know. There's a diaper wipe warmer. Um, we kept thinking we'd get one for Isaac because he would scream at the cold wet wipes for the first couple weeks he was born. And I, would, um, I wouldn't wipe him with a cold wet wipe. I would hold it in my hand and blow warm air on it uh, to warm it up before I made him suffer the coldness of a cold wet wipe. But Olivia says that uh, he got over it and it doesn't even bother him anymore. So I guess that's why... It's not hard to find them in thrift stores because most babies will get over it. That was the only book that I thought looked kind of old. And I think their books were a little higher than I wanted to pay. I did take it. Maybe I bought it. Who knows? You know, if I let two or three or four or five days go by after, um, after I film something, you know, I guessed wrong on that colander before. Sometimes I totally forget. Did I choose it? Did I not choose it? Well, let me go look in that basket of the things that I bought that day. <laughs> it's like a surprise all over again. That's why it is so fun to do. And I'm going to do a thrift haul where I sh I'm going to share with you guys the uh, things that I have found randomly. Little, little treasure boxes uh, and baskets that have miscellaneous items I have found throughout the past several weeks when I could just squeeze a little trip in here or there or maybe 
on a day that I've taken Sue to the doctor and she's feeling like browsing around in a thrift store. I might find a couple of things at a time and so I just kind of collect those and put them together in a basket uh, until I have an opportunity to share those things with you. And it's really hard for me to just get them out and disperse them until after I share them with all of you because not everyone gets it. Not everyone understands the excitement and the thrill of finding something awesome, <laughs> finding a treasure. And I always want to share that with you. $19.99 for those dogwood plates. That's pretty. I don't think I've ever seen that pattern before. Hmm. But look what I spy. I spy something really special. Why do I think this is special? I don't know. I'm not sure that it's truly worth that much money. But maybe it's one of those items that I can recall seeing in a grandparent's house. Because when I saw it, my heart jumped up a little. And I just instantly could visualize it in the loft of my she shed where I'm going to set up the bed. I got a vintage bed that I'm going to put up there. And I thought, wouldn't that tray be really pretty on the, on the bedside table with some things like a little alarm clock or a little... Uh, water, water, what do you call the things? The whole carafe, a little water carafe in a, a little vintage milk glass cup or something. I mean, I just think a little grouping like that would be adorable because I am going to use some um, 1950s pink up in that loft. I've got a few items, uh, including a set of furniture for my grandchildren. It's children-sized furniture that's from the 1950s and it's still painted pink and I haven't shared it with you yet, but it is awesome. I drove a long way to go get it because if you can believe it, they sold all the pieces of it for $15. I, I'm, I, I still can't understand why. It was, it, it can't be, it can't be explained. I love the forged handle on that. I didn't like the, the molded bottom of it as much as I liked that forged handle. That was pretty. Dadgummit, this weather is going to have to cool off. I am so ready to get my shed finished, but, you know, we just can't. That was a really pretty bell. I thought it cost more than it should, but it's probably... Um, the kind of thing that is even more than that if you go to an antique mall or a little uh, stylish boutique of some kind. And this was a whole additional room that had a whole fresh crop of lamps and furniture and all sorts of things. And on that back wall, they had a lot of linens. That was where all the linens were. Now, I didn't, I didn't deeply dig through the lamps, but I always give it kind of a, a once over. I give it a good glance so that in case there is something extra special that I really, really would want to use. And I think I looked at, it was a desk lamp. Do you call it a banker? A banker's lamp that uh, has that rectangular shade. If I could ever show you the top. Sometimes, y'all, when I'm filming, I forget I'm filming. Um, and that's the stupidest. Uh, but that's I get distracted, and then I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be making sure that the object I'm looking at is also in the frame. But they wanted $49 for it, so obviously I just couldn't. What does it say? Piano? Piano? Lamp? Well, I can see that, yeah. Shining down on your sheet music. That makes sense. And uh, I didn't find a single bit of any kind of linens. I always notice when there's the little uh, napkins. I love, I'm a sucker for napkins. I actually use them. Some of obviously are just for pretty and just for display. But if I find good linen ones that are just serviceable and they're in a good shade that's one of my basic good colors, I do get them, if, especially if they're just like 25 cents a piece or something. That's, that's worth it to me because I really enjoy using them in the kitchen. Um, maybe just to... Uh, lay down in a basket before I put rolls in it to take to the table or sometimes um, I will use them to cover up something like you know if I make a salad and 
it's not quite time to eat yet and I don't really want to get out foil or plastic wrap, I'll just reach in my cabinet where I have my clean folded uh, fabric napkins like that and I'll just lay that over it to keep it fresh, keep it from uh, being exposed to anything. Um, banana gnats, I haven't fought them as badly this summer as I do sometimes, but um, a banana gnat is straight from the devil. I, you can't you can't get rid of them if they get too established in your home. So um, it actually makes me not buy bananas as often as I would like to. If, you, if there's a secret that you know to keep them from trying to set up residence in your home, uh, do tell. Share your knowledge. I really liked that print. Um, cheap as ever. Not even, not even much, but it's, it's a poster and it does say Williamsburg. And you know, last fall, uh, Ben and I took an anniversary trip and stayed a full week in Williamsburg, Virginia, just the two of us. We had the best time. It was a good trip. And that's one of the few times we have ever even done a weekend trip without some of our grown kids or grandkids or combination of all that. We just... I just decided that's what it was. I decided that that he and I needed it for our uh, our mental health <laughs> and our relationship health. Now, September 10th is our actual anniversary. I think on my last video I got confused and I thought we were already in September and I, I said we're having an anniversary next week, but it's actually in September. And we're not sure what we're doing this year. We might do a little tiny weekend getaway. Still thinking about it. Okay, this was another Goodwill that was over on the east side of Montgomery. That that previous Goodwill was a west west side, which is the side that our campground was on. Um, this one had plenty of interesting things to look at. There's a vintage 1970s eagle. Harvest of Gold little picture. That was cute. And I do like little steins and I do like blue and white, but I don't drink beer and I don't especially want a souvenir from Six Flags. So, you know, that was not for me. Maybe it could have been a candidate for a flip to turn it into something cuter. I always check the little metal houses to see if the chimney is open because if you don't know this trick, Put a little uh, essential oil diffuser inside a metal house like that at Christmas and the mist that comes up looks like smoke coming out of the chimney and it's absolutely adorable. I've got one that I had to actually cut a hole uh, down inside the chimney because the roof was solid under there but uh, I opened it up so that it would that it would diffuse through there and it's so cute. So very cute. Now, I did end up bringing home a tray. Can you guess which one I liked? Very ornate. Okay, it was $4.99, and I admired it, and I thought it was really pretty. I love the Baroque ornate details around the edge. But I thought, well, you know, I don't actually truly really need it, but... Then I came on down and I looked at this one, which was priced way higher, and I didn't think it was actually prettier. I didn't like it even as much as I liked the other one. So I was like, you know what? Of course, that, that one is, it, the box was with it and it said Onada, and I know those, those really are valuable. But for my taste and for just what I like to look at, I did, I did rescue that one. And you know, it could be tarni uh, tarnished, it could be polished, and that tarnish would go away. But I'm not offended by the tarnish. I kind of love it because it looks more aged. Look, look at there at my buggy. I don't know where the footage is of uh, the little glass chicken on a nest. 
hen on a nest. I've never had one before and I've always thought they're so cute and I liked that one because it was clear. Plenty of those copper molds if you ever should need one. And these were a thing. Those casserole elevators, you know, risers. But this caught my eye and it wasn't even very much. And I thought it would be perfect in my Pinewood Keep She Shed. It's going to look a lot like Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I, you know, my heart is longing to get out there and fix the things and organize things. And I just, it just can't be done until the weather comes down about 20 degrees. I mean, maybe 15 degrees. We just can't. Just can't. But it'll happen. It will happen. I've lived long enough in this world to know that seasons do change. Surprisingly, summer does end and the temperatures do get cooler. So that's where I put my hope right now. I thought that was a cute candle, but I feel like it would cost more than I wanted to pay. But it was cute. It was ceramic. Had lots of cute clothes in here and I did end up picking up a t-shirt and some mm, some shorts of course now for me shorts come all the way to my knee and almost just a little bit past Bermuda all the way baby and I thought that was cute until I turned it over and saw the artwork done with Sharpie attitude adjuster then it wasn't cute anymore I did buy a paddle though earlier this summer that said Board of Education or something like that. Board of Correction. I don't know what it said, but it was very cute and it was truly, truly vintage. I do find um, the thrift store is a great place to find seasonal things. This is not seasonal, what I'm about to look at, but um, that looks like a wall, ceramic wall fountain. That was interesting. It looked really heavy and, you know, I didn't feel like I was going to pay whatever the sticker price was on that thing. I didn't love it enough to buy it anyway. I always, always, always check the furniture area. You just never know what kind of ancient little chair will be in there. And I did like this rocker, but it was more than I needed to pay for a rocker that I don't, I don't need another rocking chair. I mean, I don't even spend a lot of time in the rocking chairs I do have, but I really wasn't going to pay $149 for an extra one. But it was pretty. Lots of pretty carving, and it did look pretty old. Big old mailbox down there and a wooden wine rack and a, a nice chiffre robe with some good potential. And now I spy a bushel basket back there, but first, obviously, I'm going to have to check this typewriter. I don't. I'm not going to get another typewriter. I really have a good, cute, aqua-colored one. But this was nice, and I was just see how much they were asking for it and I think it said $3.99 and it is just a nice good serviceable basket for any manner of things so that is that is what I ended up putting all my treasures from that entire day that's how it came came back home with us in the camper I don't know if it ended up in somebody's truck or <laughs> or in the camper, but that's that's where all my stuff from this whole day actually still is in that basket. I do take time to dig through artwork because I always want to make sure I'm not missing out on some kind of vintage framed art. 
Thank you for watching and thank you for being patient with me through this hot summer when I am not able to put out as many videos as I have done up to this point on my channel. A little later, I'm going to be sharing some news and some changes that are going on in our lives and in our kids' lives. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you pretty soon.